In today's video, we are trying three different experiments that should defy the laws of gravity. We like building stuff. We do. Sometimes it's weird stuff. This is weird stuff. Today is one of those days. We've seen a couple pictures and videos of these weird contraptions that seem like they don't use gravity and physics in the normal way, and we want to try and recreate them ourselves. We've got three. One of them is like this weird two-piece structure. It looks like it's using strings as poles, but in such a weird way that it looks like the strings are pushing it into place instead of pulling it. And strings are not very good at pushing things, historically speaking. The next one uses curved springy pieces of plastic and a string to hold the string vertical while under tension. And it just has overlapping bits of plastic and it just holds itself up in a way that doesn't seem like it should be possible, but if you really look at it and think about it, you think, oh, maybe that but should maybe, work. Maybe. The last one uses weights and pulleys to hold a platform up in the air by its own weight. It's suspended by its own weight. It's pretty cool. I've actually seen this picture floating around for years. It's really, really cool. I've actually loved this idea for a really long time, but today we're actually going to attempt it, so I'm excited. How about you start got on the bendy plastic one. Okay. I'll start on the wire and string one. Okay. And then once we got that, we'll work together on the third one. I like it. Better. So you are noticing that when I'm cutting this, I'm actually breaking it down and away from me. I'm not wearing glasses right now and I don't want to risk it shattering and hitting my eyes. So you never break it towards yourself, always break it away. I think I've got this first one working out and it's surreal. It doesn't seem like it should work. No. But, and it can fail. You can overcome the stability points, but it, for the most part like this, it holds itself up. You push down in the wrong spot and it all falls apart, but some places you can just push and it like bounces back up. But it's all string. Really what's happening is it's hanging. This string right here in the middle, it's all hanging off of that point. And then these strings on the side are there for stability to just keep it from rocking one side or the other. Three points is acting like a tripod and it holds it quite stably in place. It doesn't seem like it should work. This string in the middle is what holds it up. It's all resting on this string. And these three strings going around are just stability to make it so it can't tip over. So it's like a hanging tripod rather than a supporting from the ground tripod. Go. Kind of. Okay. I'm very confused, but very we're, thrilled. We're like <laughs> halfway, and that's honestly not bad. I think they must have a more rigid plastic or smaller pieces. I, I think this whole thing is that tall. Yeah, we just tried to make it giant. Yarn, but I mean, it's still kind of working, which is pretty neat. Like, it is just holding itself up under tension of yeah. string. Trying to hold something under the weight of tension means that you do have to realize that at a certain point, it is going to give. These aren't really made to be structures that are large, so I'm just trying to be ridiculous and scale it up as large as possible. You got it. I did. It's standing up. I did it, I did it. Okay, and if you look at it, we did it with thicker string and bigger pieces. I think this is much larger than the original. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's hard to compress Oink. evenly. Oink. Doesn't like to do that, but it's-, it's a rope. It's a string held up with tension. I keep messing it up because I'm trying to see if there's a better direction for it, but honestly, I'm thrilled. There are two gravity-defying string contraptions. So this is basically the same as the mechanism that's in those toys. So if you pull on one side, the whole thing flops, but then when you pull that tension back, it comes right back up. 
Physics hat. Physics hat. Physics hat. Physics, physics, physics. Physics, 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 physics. All right, so we've made two suspension projects today, but we wanna do two more things. Now, I have seen on the internet, the table supported by its own weight. So we're gonna attempt that today. It is something I've been wanting to try for a very long time. So Nate is gonna start with that. I am going to try and scale up our string tension project. See if we can actually get it to a much larger size. I don't know if we'll be able to get it as tall as ourselves, but I'm willing to try. To be fair, I actually went to Home Depot and I asked for the thickest rope that they had because I wanted to be able to see it. And this stuff looks cool. So hopefully this it thicker is. acrylic is strong enough to hold that all under tension. Because this is natural fiber, so it's pretty heavy, pretty rough, so fingers crossed. In the meantime, here's the goal with this table. The idea is that each of these buckets will have a string attached to them. Those strings will go up to pulleys on the ceiling. Then they'll come back down where they are attached to the center of the table. The goal is to then fill the buckets with heavy weights or rocks, so much that the weight of the buckets pulls the table up until all of the buckets meet the table. So the buckets are resting on the table and simultaneously while they're on top of the table, they're also holding the table up off the ground. So if you don't have any weight in them, these buckets are gonna be up near the ceiling. As you add weight, they come down until they hit the table and that is our goal. Good enough, thank you. Time to try defying gravity. I'm sorry, Adina Menzel. I'm just destroying your song. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. I'm going to do this again someday. But I hurt, so I'm gonna stop for now. We're gonna revisit this. With we may scale up some of these projects at some point. Polyurethane plastic sheeting. Not acrylic. This, <laughs> Guys, this was uh, the breaks. only plastic that I could find. I will be attempting this again on a much larger scale, but right now what I've made is a giant shard hazard in the studio, so I'm gonna put my glasses on. This could go in a museum for like $20,000. Look at that art. Look at that art. So here we have it, our self-suspending structures. I got a bunch of these lead weights and I put them in the buckets. If I take too many of them out, it'll start to... Yep, there it goes, getting ready to take back off. There's gonna be a lot of friction in the pulleys, of course, but there it is. Yep, yep, okay. Glorious putting our lead weights back in our bucket to get our table back to stable. Oh, there we go. Ha! And then just had a little bit more weight to make it a little bit more stable. There you go. So the weight in the buckets is pulling down, which going through a pulley at the top is lifting the table up and it all just kind of equalizes right here in the middle. If we had more weight on the table, of course, it could overcome the weight in the buckets. If we had more weight in the buckets, then we could add more weight to the table. But it definitely works. And we can put our 
weird suspension structures on top of the table. There we go, just make a giant, yeah, modern art piece. We were definitely successful with our smaller the scale. The smaller one worked great. Not now, our very small scale. I started trying to make a really small one and I just broke a piece of acrylic two minutes in and there's a lot of knots to tie and my thumb's not great. I guess I already tied a whole bunch of other knots, but those were smaller knots. We did go into this project knowing that if we used acrylic, it might shatter. And when we tried to scale it up, we got lots it, of breaking. It acrylic. absolutely shattered in multiple pieces. Overall though, three projects done. They were Scaling very fun. Up, one of them didn't work, but that's counterintuitive okay. balancing structures. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Click that box up the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.